Good morning, YouTube. It's Guitar Worm here, and I just want to go over a few uh, talking points of my Paul Reed Smith or PRS Tremonti SE. This is the made in Korea version, and this particular guitar is probably at least six years old. I've only owned it for two years, um, so I'm pretty familiar with it. I put a lot of hours on it, so uh, I'll give you my uh, opinion based on that. So, first off, you'll notice with the SE Tremonti, again for this model, might be a little different on the brand new ones. Uh, you got the binding all around the headstock, really sharp looking headstock, binding down the neck. And then obviously right around the body, it's got a belly carve on it, if you can see it in the light, don't know if you can. And yeah, there's the back of the guitar. Simple, straight black, uh, really solid black color, really stands out, really sharp with the frets and the binding on it. I actually prefer the looks of it, even though I, I didn't think I would uh, when I bought the guitar. I prefer the looks of it to my SE Custom 24, which has flame tops, which I absolutely love flame tops. Um, this one looks good in the light. You can really see the you know, really see the flame in the light. But typically when the guitar is just back here like this, the flame doesn't really stand out that much. So I'd actually say when you see the two guitars side by side, I'd actually say this is a sharper looking guitar. The SE Custom also has no binding down the neck or the headstock, um, but it does have that binding on the side of the body. Both awesome guitars. Um, it's also interesting that while I'm talking about the SE Custom and I pick it up every time, it, that actually feels heavy compared to the Mark Tremonti. So I weighed them this morning and this uh, the SE Custom comes in at 7.6 pounds, which is Nice weight for guitars, not too heavy. Um, still got a, a little bit of a weight to it. And this is 6.0 oh, uh, oh pounds, yeah, <laughs> six pounds dead on. And so every time I pick it up, it seems extremely light, uh, very comfortable to wear. With that belly carve again, it just fits you. It doesn't, the head doesn't dive or anything. Heads, no headstock dive. Um, just fits you and because it's so uh, light when I go to jam with my buddy, in the the boys in the band, then I'm okay for a couple hours. Uh, I think I've said in some other videos as you you reach you know once you get into your 30s, uh, lighter guitars start to feel a little bit better. That was not something I was worried about in my 20s, but now uh, I definitely appreciate a light guitar, especially since my buddy plays with a a less Epiphone Les Paul, and I mean it's got to be at least nine or ten pounds. It's a it's a beast. So uh, if you're standing around for two hours, I'll take the six pound guitar anytime. Um, some other differences about this, and actually speaking of Les Pauls, the uh, configuration is a little bit different. So my volume for the neck pickup is right here, and then the tone would be down here. And then the volume for my bridge pickup is right here, and the tone's down there. So I get confused on it sometimes because I actually I have a Les Paul I go back and forth with. Um, but to me it actually makes more sense having both your volumes right up top in the easier, because I, I play the volume more than the tone. So usually I leave, I set the tone at a certain spot and leave it alone. Um, so on an SE Tremonti, you're gonna get, it's uh, a more modern pickup sound. So if you're looking, if you're debating between a Tremonti and like an SE 245, for example, or even an Epiphone Les Paul, those are gonna be more vintage sounding. Um, so if you're more into, obviously if you're more into classic rock, Zeppelin, whatever that kind of sound, um, that's probably what you want to go for. If you're into more modern, um, then this is this is what you want to go for. So modern metal. These sound great, clean. Like I said, I'll do some examples after. Uh, but yeah, these I really like these pickups. I prefer these pickups to the Seymour Duncan's that were installed in the 24. That's a SH2 and an SH4, and. Those to me, they sound good, they're very clear. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but when I play them back to back, this is a much fuller sounding guitar. So despite being a lighter guitar, there can't be much in here, um, this sounds fuller. Now this guitar does have a thicker neck, it's the wide fat neck. And for me, it's probably still a medium C as I uh, stroke my guitar here. Um, it's a little fat, it's a, it's a little thinner here, and then between five and nine, it gets, it seems a little bit fatter than I'd like it, and then it gets, it thins out again, um, which you could, 
obviously sand down or whatever, but this guitar, it's, it is a very smooth, fast finish, so I'm not gonna touch the back of the neck. And if you're used to playing an Epiphone or anything like that, then you're gonna, you'll be used to it, it won't be a big deal. I had the SE Custom first, which is an extremely thin neck, and I actually thought it was a little too thin at first. Um, so after I had that for a while, and then I picked this up, this seemed a little bit chunkier. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's got, the fret job is awesome. Don't know, yeah, I can't really tell. Both fret jobs are awesome. Um, it's, it just has uh, PRS tuners on it. And I think this, could, this of my three guitars that I play, the 2012 Gibson Les Paul, the SE Custom here, which has locking tuners on it, and this, I would say this actually stays in tune better than the other ones. The Gibson's the worst by far, hands down. The locking tuners are good. They stay in tune very well, and it's awesome when you go to change strings. Um, and I thought about putting locking tuners on this, but I think these actually are staying tuned a little bit better, so I'm just gonna leave those. So yeah, super light, efficient guitar. It's gonna give you some awesome cleans, some great metal tones if that's what you're looking for. Um, I usually, because I have a couple guitars, I usually keep this one down tuned a step or a step and a half, um, and it's just good to go. So. Uh, these go on eBay. You can get them definitely on eBay for under 400 American. Um, I bought mine in Canada, so it was a little bit more, but yeah, I've seen them as cheap as 300. Some of the same model comes in silver. Um, I think it even comes in red. The, the older Tremontis won't have the birds on the fretboard, which I, I want the birds for sure. And the new model is significantly heavier and they've beefed it up. They've actually made it a little bit thicker and everything, which a lot of people like. But uh, if you were if you play in a band or anything and you're looking for a second guitar or just a second guitar to down tune, then I would definitely go with the Mark Tremonti. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I will post a link for some. I'll do some sound comparisons between this and the other SE and probably even the Gibson. So you can check those out and tell me what you think sounds better. But uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorite guitars that I've ever owned. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.